Hello, and welcome back to Galpadia! Today's answer is... Uh... It was 47, right? Okay! Great. Oh, saving seems prudent. Both Balam and Galbadia Garden are joining forces with uh, the general from the Galbadian army. Why? No point in me. I mean, I think they're. Squall. Squall, you're killing me here. Um. Is my contract still in effect? Don't leave me in this house, okay? Want me to explain why? You should know by now. Just tell us what to do, and we'll do it. Hmm. I wonder why... She does seem quite nervous about having to stay here. Stop pacing, Squall. Hmm. So it would seem... Squall. Er, Zell. I wonder. Hmm. He always does this. So discourteous, making people wait. I'm gonna go complain. Everyone, just wait here. Oh, by the way, this is my house, so don't worry. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently this is Renoa's house. She's not received the type of training you all have and may become a burden. It's for the best that she stays out of this operation. So yeah, uh... Renoa is actually Renoa Carthaway, the daughter of General Carthaway. The figurehead, if not leader, of the resistance group in Timber is in fact the daughter of one of Galpadia's highest ranking generals. Yeah. <clears throat> So the father's a top military officer, and the daughter's a member of an anti-government faction? Ha. Huh. Yep, that's sort of what I was just saying. Hmm. I mean, it does sort of concern us a little bit. Besides, we have fo well, that's arguably true. Once our mission is accomplished here, we're working for Renoa as per our contract. I don't know what your situation is, but please don't interfere when the time comes. And if I do? Well... Yeah. We're gonna, uh, hmm. So let's get down to business. Okay, let me explain the plan. I don't even know why it's making me do this. Let's, I'll be honest here. Like, well, we'll put in selfie. I guess we'll change them around. I'm sure you know that the Galbadian government reached an agreement with Sorceress Adia. Adia. Hmm. There's going to be a ceremony tonight to commemorate the event.
It'll be held at the presidential residence. During the, the ceremony, you will split up into two teams and get into a position. This is the presidential resident, by the way, the thing right below us. The gateway team will enter the gateway and stand by. The sniper team will stand by at the front of the presidential residence until the ceremony is over. This is where the sniper team will wait, right here, where I'm standing. So we're going to divide into two teams. Yep. That is the presidential residence. Once the ceremony ends, a parade for the sorceress will begin. That is when the gate will open. Lay low until then. The parade may be cancelled if there is any commotion. We must avoid that at all costs. Once the gate opens, the sniper team will move out. With the parade drawing the crowd and the guards' attention, it should be rather easy to move about. The sniper team will head for the roof of the residence. In the corridor by the sorcerer's room, there is a hatch that leads to the clockwork. There's a clock tower there housing a carousel clock. You'll find the sniper rifle there, standing by in the clock tower until exactly 2000. The parade will begin by the gate. The sorcerer will be riding the parade vehicle. After it leaves the gate, it will turn left. This way. It will circle around the city on the outer road and return to this space from here. After which, it will return on this side, and then turn right and head straight between the Galbadian archway. What is it like? I mean, let's be honest here. It's the Gate of Brandenburg, isn't it? Um, at exactly 2000, the parade will pass underneath this gateway. At this point, the gateway team will operate the console to drop the gates. The sorceress will be trapped inside the gateway. You know, this seems needlessly complex. I mean, you've given us a sniper rifle. Wouldn't it be better to shoot the sorceress without tipping her off that we're up to something? Anyway. At 2000, the carousel clock will rise out of the roof, carrying the sniper team up as well. There will be no obstruction between the sniper team and the sorceress. Take the shot. How graphic. That is all. Now we wait. You're free to go anywhere. Go check out the city if you wish. Just one thing. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> oh, Squall. Squall, squall, squall. Report to my residence once you're ready. We'll hold a final meeting then. After that, we'll proceed with the operation. So, I mean, I'm pretty much ready. So, we're just gonna head straight there. Uh, this away. Oh, hey, more Thunder Off. So, uh, I did some, uh, some magic stuff during my Grand Fest as well. So, I have some level 2 spells, but not a complete set. I have enough, frankly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll save. And then back inside we go. It's time to form the teams. The sniper and the leader of this operation will form the sniper team. Okay, so when you said it's time to form the teams, you meant it's time to assign them. The leader's role is vital! If the plan fails for any reason, or should the sniper miss, the leader must carry out a directed assault against the sorceress. The plan was devised carefully because we intend this to be a covert operation. 
but our ultimate goal is to eliminate the sorceress, and we must achieve this at all costs. Even if they uncover our identities. So, who's going to lead the operation? That would be Squall. Everyone looks at him. Yeah. Everyone else! Good question! I think the decision is also obvious. Quistus may not think that she's leader material, but I think she's second in command material. <laughs> It's Renoa. Finally got out of there. Did that man say something? Not, not really. I'm sorry, Renoa, but we have to get going. Take a look at this. It's called an Odine Bangle. I found it in that man's room. It's supposed to suppress the uh, sorceress's powers, but its effects are still unknown, so I don't think they're going to be using it for this mission. I wonder why Carthway had that. Hmm. If I'm remembering right, Odine is in fact the scientist who developed paramagic in the first place, so he knows his stuff. Indeed. Uh, Christus. I mean, I mean, you're right, but. You're not wrong, Christus. You're not wrong, but also, you're probably not handling the situation all that well. Hmm. Okay, that was uncalled for. said this was a game. I understand what's going on. It's not like I don't have a plan. Uh, wait a second. Okay. That won't be necessary. I'll get the job done. Oh, I missed what they were saying. Have to walk, have to walk so that we look cool. It, it's not letting me run. I kind of wish it would let me run. Oh well. So it's true. Seas aren't supposed to question their what? I mean, there are times I'd like to know myself, like now, for example. What do you even care? So like. If you knew that your enemies were pure evil, you'd get more fired up to fight them, right? Right and wrong are not what separate us and our enemies. It's our different standpoints, our perspective, that separate us. Well, I mean, while that is true, Squall... I was stuck on the draw point. <laughs> while that is true, Squall, I think it is fair to say that sorceresses are usually pretty bad news. Oh, I leveled down again. The reason that keeps happening is because, um, both sides blame one another. There's no good or bad side, just two different sides holding different views. Right, so... 
interesting. Okay. Well, this, right. So the reason that keeps happening, if the game lets me talk about it, um, first of all, the way you're paid is determined directly from the amount of steps you take. After you take a fixed number of steps, you get paid again. And your level is like... You two can wait here. Oh, General, why has the sources decided to have such an extravagant parade? She wants to establish her base in Galbadia Garden, since she has chosen it to serve as her base. Mm. Okay then. Uh, and the way that that works is every time you get paid, you have a number from one from between zero and one hundred, and that determines your level more or less. If that number hits 100, you level up. If it hits 0, you level down. That number increases every time you kill a monster in battle, but it goes down by 10 every time you get paid. So I'm like right on the border between two levels, and that's basically what's happening here. Uh, what are you doing, Quistus? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you were a little too hard, but no, uh, shouldn't you, like, stay here? I mean, this is, like, pretty important. Yeah, like what Sophie is saying. Damn it, Quistus! What are you doing? Well, I guess we're doing this. Oh, hey, it's the general ahead of us. Follow that general! Hmm. Right, now is a good time to save, so let's uh let's save. Actually, let's change our wait a sec. Uh right. Let's let's change around our junctions first. Okay, now we can save. It'll be chaos out there soon. You'll be safe here. I mean, say what we will about General Carthway. Frankly, I don't- frankly, from where I'm sitting, he's not a very good person. <laughs> But, I mean, he's a military leader of a massive dictator. Yeah, he's, he's almost certainly not a very good person. <laughs> but he does genuinely care about Renoa. Ruh row. I can do it. Oh, we must have just missed her. Uh Ha. Huh. Well, that's bad. Yeah, we seem to have been locked in. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a fair assessment. Yeah, actually, she probably is. Too bad that you were such an asshole to her. Uh, but also, you've done the worst thing by coming back at this exact moment. Uh, let's see. We're not gonna run this with nothing equipped, but, uh, we want to go down here. This is a little bit dangerous, doing it with just Renoa, but it's, uh, well, yeah, like, there you go, right? Um, 
Frankly, I'm just gonna run away. I guess I could try to card them, but I mean that's more risk than it's than is worthwhile. I think. No, uh, I'm just here for a magazine. Weapons Monthly, May Issue. This cutting tr trigger is the latest model of Gunblade, made by replacing the blade of the revolver with the powerful cutting sword. Let's see, Messer Blade? I can make this right now. Well, I mean, I can't reach a weapon shop right now, but y y you get the idea. Weapons Monthly? Uh... Valkyrie is a projectile weapon that can fly straight at the enemy using its stabilizing fins. The blade is extremely deadly. I can make this right now, too. Hmm. Wait. Don't I already have this? I'm pretty sure I already have this. Ha. Huh. I guess I made it ahead of time. Completely by accident. That's great. The Ulysses lacks style, but it is a quality rifle with tremendous firepower. The inelegant design was necessary to absorb the powerful recoil after firing it. Bomb fragment and steel pipe. That's doable. This whip, the slaying tail, is known for its tremendous speed and power. It is named after Slepnir, the horse of the legendary GF Odin. Sharp spike and magic. I actually don't think I have enough magic stones to make this right now. I used most of them it, to make magic, so yeah, I only have one magic stone. <laughs> oh well. It's just Quistus weapon. I mean, she doesn't need a, need that anyway, right? Uh, well, actually, sort of true. Arguably, the only one who really needs a upgraded weapon is Squall, because Squall's limit breaks are based partially on his weapon. Everyone else, though, it's like, it, it still helps, but it's such a small improvement, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> well, in fairness, it does add up over time. Uh, actually, no, no, don't, no, stop, stop! Well, I'm stuck now. <sighs> up we go. I actually wanted to use the save point. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. You can do it, Renoa! This isn't some kind of game. I know that. Inside we... Actually, no. We cannot enter through that... I mean, that looks like a doorway, right? But we can't just hop the fence or anything. We need to climb up here. And... Join me next time for the exciting conclusion. Well, probably not the exciting conclusion, but a conclusion nonetheless. Uh, until then, this has been Chaos Balloon. Have a great day. Bye!